dunk animations, dribble animations, and the best jump shot for every guard height. Get this video to 100 likes so we can get to the next video. All right, so we're not gonna waste any time, man. We're getting straight to it. So I know people care about dunks the most, so we're gonna go straight to the dunks. So the most important one is the regular hangs off one. Now you need a 55 dunk and 35 vert. Now these are basically quick drops. Um, I think these are needed for every height. Cause you can get these on every height and the requirement is not even that much. So I feel like you definitely need these dunks. Now you also need athletic hangs off one, which is 65 dunk and 45 vert. Now these two dunks together, are definitely perfect like these are one of those dunks like when the paint is wide open you just take it you know what i'm saying you just take a wide open dunk it's free you know what i'm saying you'll never get blocked on these it's not a back scratcher it's free dunks every time so you might as well do these when it's a wide open dunk now the best dunk for me is westbrook now westbrook the requirement is a 93 dunk and an 80 vert so it's a lot of requirements for this dunk but westbrook dunk is definitely the best dunk in the game i don't think it's any debate if you want to have a really good dunk to have Westbrook. Now that's the one dunk that's an NBA player that I have on my small guard. But for my 6'6 guard, I have LeBron dunk. Now LeBron dunk is the best dunk in the game, but you have to be 6'5 plus. So LeBron dunk, um, you need 84 dunk and 64 vertical for it. And I'm telling you, if you have a 6'5 and up guard, it's, it's, it's needed. You know what I'm saying? LeBron is definitely the best dunk in the game and you will see later if you don't see it now. You know what I'm saying? Now trust me, put on LeBron dunk. Now, all the contact dunks that you need, you need, for the ones that I have, I have 94 dunk and 82 vert. But if you want every single contact dunk in the game, you need 94 dunk, 85 vert. And the 85 vert gets you those small contact dunks. Now, the small contact dunks are definitely like more, like you can get them a lot more. But 82 vert gets you every contact dunk other than that. And I dunk on everybody. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you want to know the build, I posted that build video like a couple days ago. So go to into that. But let's keep going. Now, we're going on to the six. Now, for the six four six, we have dribble style Kyrie Irving. Now, dribble style Kyrie Irving, you need it. You know what I'm saying? If you go on a small guard, it shouldn't be a question. You put on dribble style Kyrie Irving, don't ask why, just put it on. Now, six size of Steve Francis. I've had on Steve Francis for about two years, and I really do like Steve Francis. Um... Steve Francis is just one of those drill moves that you have to have, and uh, I really have no explanation. You just should have on Steve Francis six sides up, bro. It's really no question. Now, regular breakdown combo the Air Fox. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's not really, you know what I mean? I don't use regular breakdown combos, to be honest. So I can't really go in depth on regular breakdown combos. Now, aggressive breakdown combo, Dears Garland, I do it a little bit for fun, you know what I'm saying? But it doesn't give me any guaranteed buckets. So it really doesn't matter what either breakdown combo you have. It's really just preference. It's not going to help you score at all, but be honest with you. So it's up to you. Now, escape moves, Kimball Walker. I love Kimball Walker. I used to use Trey Young. But Kimba Walker is better for me, so I don't over dribble. When you're in prime, you really can't over dribble as much, or you will get ripped, and it's really annoying. So I put on Kimba Walker escape move. Now combo move the air. Combo move the air fox. My fault, fellas. Um, combo move the air fox. I, you know what? I barely use combo moves, but when I do, Kimba Walker is definitely cool. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to use the air fox, then use Stephen Curry. You know what I'm saying? But it's really preference. Now, crossover Kobe Bryant. Now, that's the crossover that you see me doing when I go straight to the paint and dunk on people. And yes, that crossover is amazing. There shouldn't be any other crossover you use. So trust me when I say Kobe Bryant's the best crossover. Now, behind the back, Jamal Murray. I love Jamal Jamal Murray behind the back. Uh, at the start of the year, people use like LeBron and all these other behind the backs. Jamal Murray is definitely the best behind the back. I think everybody in this game literally used Jamal Murray behind the back. So you shouldn't even be trying to use anything else. Now, spin Penny Hardaway, it doesn't matter what spin you have on. I barely do spins. The only time I do spins is in 1v1 court. And, uh, you know, it's pretty nice. So I guess you could just use Penny Hardaway because it's, it's low key nice. It's not going to give you guaranteed buckets, but it's nice. Now, Hesitation John Morant. Hesitation John Morant. I've noticed that when I do this certain move, that Hesitation John Morant is really good. Uh, I put it in my dribble tutorial. And it's definitely the best uh, Hesitation by far. And uh, Step Back John Wall. Now, Step Back John Wall, I'm not going to lie, bro. I. Curry is the best step back, but for me, I like John Wall better because it makes me dribble less, you know what I'm saying, get straight to a bucket, you know what I'm saying, like, in prime, you can't really dribble your head off, bro, you gotta get straight to a bucket, so, that's why I use John Wall step back. Now, let's go to the 666, I know a lot of people want to know how to dribble with a shooting guard. Now, pro dribble style, for a while, I use Zach Levine, and Zach Levine's still cold, but pro is just better, bro, it's just better, and you have to at least lab pro dribble style before saying it's trash. 
because that was me. I had to lab it as well, and now I really do like it. Now, signature size of De'Aaron Fox is definitely the best signature size up for a big guard, but I barely use it. You know what I'm saying? I just use uh, another thing that I'll talk about later. But De'Aaron Fox six size up is still pretty good. Now, regular breakdown combo De'Aaron Fox, like I've told y'all, I don't use regular breakdown combos, so it's preference. You know what I'm saying? But you can still use De Fox regular breakdown combo. Now, aggressive breakdown combo Paul George. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I use it once a month, but it's but when I use that thing once a month, I like it a lot. You know what I'm saying? Now, escape moves Kimball Walker. This move is what you must have on every big guard possible. Uh, if you can get Kimball Walker escape moves, you need to use it. There's so many moves you can do with Kimball Walker. It's actually insane. You know what I'm saying? I've made videos on it countless of times, so you just gotta tune in to find them. Now, combo moves De'Aaron Fox. It's not a guaranteed bucket, but it's preference, and I like De'Aaron Fox combo moves. You know what I'm saying? It's really not much to it. Uh, I like De'Aaron Fox combo moves. I uh, couldn't get Curry, so I had to use De'Aaron Fox. Now, crossover Kobe Bryant, best crossover in the game. I told you on the 6-4. Guaranteed dunks. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I have nothing else to say. You know what I'm saying? Kobe Bryant crossover is what you need to get. Now, behind the back with Jamal Murray. When you're a tall, when you're a tall guard like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, and you have Jamal Murray behind the back, it's honestly kind of unstoppable to guard. You know what I'm saying? Like It gives you so much space to shoot. It's just amazing, bro. Now, spin Penny Hardaway. Like I said, spin in 1v1 court, that's about the only time I use it, to be honest with you. Now, hesitation, John Morant, you need this for a certain move. Like I said, with the 6-4 and it's in my dribble tutorial, uh, it's called the BP slide. It's pretty clean. Uh, I literally do it in this clip right here. You're going to see me go to the middle. Look, BP slide, you know, to a fade. That's what you need. Um, step back, John Wall. Hey, you can't get Curry step back with a tall guard, so you might as well go John Wall. Uh... I like John Wall really good. Uh, makes me dribble, get straight to a bucket. Like I told you before, we get straight to a bucket. That's what I love. Now let's go to the jump shots. Now for jump shots, I only have two jump shots for the small guards. Uh, a lot of people want me to tell y'all uh, what I use in UPA. And this is the jump shot right here. So for the small guards, you have to use Curry Base. Now Curry Base is pretty glitchy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like if I can get Patty Mills, I will use Patty Mills, but I can't. So I have to use Curry. Now the s first release, is Danilo Banton. Danilo Banton is definitely clean. Um, I didn't even know about him until one of my teammates told me to use his jump shot in a release. And I'm like, you know what? I'll try it. You know what I'm saying? They said it makes your jump shot way faster. So I'm like, you know what? Let me try it. You know what I'm saying? It definitely did make my jump shot way faster. Now the second release is Damian Lillard. Now Damian Lillard kind of helps, like, you know what I'm saying, with the timing. If, you, if you're looking at your player when you shoot, it kind of helps with your timing. So, you know what I'm saying? Damian Lillard and Danilo Banton. 30% um, Banton. 70% Lillard, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying, this is the first jump shot, everybody told me, well, yo, you're not posting a jump shot, why are you not posting a jump shot, here it is, now, the second jump shot is what I currently use, uh, Curry Base, I'm always gonna have Curry Base, Curry Base will always be the best base, even though some days I don't like Curry Base, today is the day that we stay with Curry Base, now, Oscar Robertson, now, Oscar Robertson is what I love on every jump shot, um, it definitely just helps you just like understand when to release the ball. A lot of people are having trouble. So if you're having trouble timing your jump shot, I suggest you use Oscar Robinson. Now second is Con Sexton. Now Con Sexton is pretty good. Um, I was also just suggested to use Con Sexton and it was amazing. So I'm using Con Sexton. Now the blending is 80% Oscar, 20% Con Sexton. Now this jump shot is my favorite by far for any small guard. So I suggest you try this one first if you even try any jump shot. But um... Now, for the big guards, this is the last jump shot, and this is probably the last thing I will have in this video. Now, T-Mac, 6'6", best jump shot in the game, by far. Use T-Mac, don't try anything else. Uh, T-Mac helps you greens, a lot of smothers, a lot of hard shots, so I suggest you use T-Mac. Now, the first release is Troy Brown Jr. Now, Troy Brown Jr. is definitely what 2-Tech uses. I, it's confirmed that 2-Tech uses Troy Brown in his jump shot. Now, I don't know his exact jump shot, but Troy Brown is in it, and Troy Brown is pretty glitchy, you know what I'm saying? Now, the second release is Oscar. Oscar, um, I love Oscar, man. You know what I'm saying? Oscar just helps me time on my jump shots. So why not have Oscar? You know what I'm saying? Now it's going to be 30% Troy Brown, 70% Oscar, and that is the jump shot for the 6'6. Now look, I've gave y'all all the animations that I've ever used for any guard. So I hope y'all like, comment, subscribe. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And look, if you want to use this amazing build right here, tune into this video right here. But look, spell one on one out. Let's get it. Peace.